Yes, guys, what we'll be talking about is really heartbreaking. It's really sad. It is really sorrowful. But we can't help than to talk about it because talking about it will help one or two persons out there. And some of the mistakes that we, we did ignorantly, some people out there will, be, will not do it again because we talked about it. That is it. So this is all about a certain young girl in Mexico who killed her own child. So this lady you see here, she is pretty young as you see her. She is also very beautiful. So news says that this lady, when she got pregnant, the mother of the lady drove her out of the house because she got pregnant out of wedlock. Then the guy who got the family of the guy who got her pregnant took her in. But when she finally gave birth to this bouncing baby boy who is now of late, things became so difficult on her side. Maybe because the guy was irresponsible. Maybe because the, the, the guy wasn't taking care of her and the baby. So she had to pack out of the uh, uh, guy's uh, family house and entered this small room and was living there with her son. But she hadn't any job. She hadn't any job. And I assume that the guy responsible or the father of the daughter of the son was an irresponsible guy. I assume so. Because if he wasn't, this lady wouldn't have been frustrated up to an, uh, up to the extent of doing hookups to take care of this child. So, news says that she used to leave this child every night with a neighbor while she goes out to look for, you know, she look for, to look for money through the crazy way. Yes. So she actually did this for some time to take care of this child. But on the day when this child passed away, news says that this child was not actually feeling fine. So this fateful evening, this lady, even when her baby was sick, she still, want, she still struggled to go out. And her neighbor, whom she used to leave the baby with, there are two things. Either this neighbor wasn't around or she wasn't in good terms with this neighbor. So she couldn't leave the baby with this neighbor. She had to leave the baby in the house alone, a six-month-old baby. Oh, God, could it be that this young girl was really naive to have thought of leaving a six-month-old baby in the house alone in the night? Oh, my God. So, for her to put this baby to sleep, she had to give this child Tramadol. Tramadol is a very dangerous drug. She had to give this child Tramadol, a six-month-old child Tramadol. And she didn't only give the Tramadol to this child. She, since this child was uh, hot, the, was having high temperature, she had to put the fan directly on this child thinking that the fan could bring down the temperature of this child. Oh my God, why do children give birth to children? 
Like seriously, I think this is a child who gave birth to a child because if this child was a mother or if this child was a matured and opened in the brain, this child was supposed to know that fun, fun can't bring down the temperature of a sick child. Um, it is really sad when it is really sad. It is really sad because you see the baby so beautiful, handsome boy. So when she did this, when she put this the uh, the fan on this child, thinking that the trauma doll will put the child to sleep why the fan will bring down the baby's temperature she left she left and it was only realized at 5 a.m in the morning that this child was no more and to tell you the truth, I am really, really, really disappointed in some people. Why should a mother put out her daughter? Because she got pregnant out of wedlock. It is true. It is true that us mothers, we are trying to get the best out of our daughters. We are trying that our children should live by example. We are trying that our children should be the best. They shouldn't get a, a children out of wedlock. But it doesn't mean that if you're child, gets pregnant out of wedlock you have to put the child out there that is exposing the child to more risk exposing the child to more risk putting your child out of the house sending her out of the house because she got pregnant is not the best solution like seriously in this case we are looking at the unborn child or the the, the child when she is fine or he or she is finally uh, uh, delivered not even the person who got pregnant out of wedlock. This is this these are some of the things that before we do, we need to think of the consequences. Because I think in me that if this mother didn't put this girl out of the house when she got pregnant, this thing, the result wouldn't have been this way. And for some people who's, who are saying on social media that this girl was actually a stubborn girl. Yeah, so yes, it's true. Girls can be stubborn at times. But putting her out of the house wasn't the best way to go about it. It wasn't the best way to go about it. I became so touched and more and more disappointed. When people started hitting her, beating this girl, undressing her, because the thing that she killed her own son. Who would do this to her son? I think that us human beings, we are always very, very, very fast at judging people. Before doing this, before hitting heart on somebody, we have to listen to that person's part of the story. So to me, guys, her mom wasn't, she didn't play her part as a mother. She would have allowed this girl in, uh, make her deliver, and after that, when the baby is safe with her, she can send this girl away. Why even sending her away? Peach, girls do these things every day. These are mistakes being done by girls every day. Girls get pregnant every day. It's not some big deal again. The only thing we need to do is just to sensitize our young girls 
make them to understand the, the, the consequences of getting down with a man without being married or without get, uh, putting uh, something to protect yourself from getting pregnant. That is the only thing. I actually saw a video of people beating this girl to stupid. They beat her to stupid when this thing happened. They strike her naked and they beat her to stupid. I don't know why people are always quick at judging or hitting on people when there is a situation. I don't think beating this girl or get naked in this girl and beating her was the best thing to do at that point. Yes, people believe she took the life of her own child or she killed her own child. Who will kill her own child? This girl, everything surrounding the death of this child showed that she did these things ignorantly. Like seriously, she did it ignorantly. Everything surrounding this shows that, uh, show, shows that this girl did what she did ignorantly. She didn't know that Tramador was going to kill this child. Neither did she know that putting a fan on a sick child can't bring down the temperature of a child. Instead, it will make it worse. She didn't know. And from what I get, this girl loved her son like never before. They said this girl loved her son. She loved her son. But she made a mistake. And why did she do this mistake? Because she was not under the umbrella of a mature person. Or she was not under the care of a mother. If this girl was under her mom's care, she wouldn't have done what she did. It is true, she might have been a stubborn child. A stubborn girl. There are stubborn children everywhere. We just need to look for a better way of dealing with some of these stubborn children. Sending them away, abandoning them is not a good solution. It's not the best solution. That is it. So when I saw people beating her up, I was like, are they for real? All this, all this is just to tell us that mothers parents you need to educate your children you need to educate them sensitize them on premarital affairs if you come across this video don't forget to subscribe like and share don't forget to share guys because this will help somebody somewhere Share so that girls, young girls out there will see this and learn from it. Share so that mothers out there will see this and learn to be more responsible. Don't also forget to leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about all the whole scenario. Tell me what you think about the, the mother, the girl, and the, the father of the child. Put your comments there, guys. See you in our next videos. Bye-bye.